What's up guys, today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a coconut hide, just like this one here. So I hope you enjoy the video and I hope it helps. So some things you'll need, obviously, you need a coconut. This one I've bought, just a regular coconut, trying to get the biggest one you can find. So it's got like more room for your uh, animal to fit in. I use it for crested and gargoyle geckos. You can also use it for like leaf tails, um, smaller leopard geckos, things like that. Anything that will fit inside it really, baby snakes. Um, you'll also need a drill piece just like this with the uh, bladed edge that will cut a circle out and of course a drill. And that's it for now. You will need some more items such as a knife later on, but I'll show you them once I get to it. So first thing you need to do, attach your drill piece. Just like that. And then make sure it's tight. Then you need to get your coconut and figure out what where you want to put it. Try and keep the these are called eyes. Try and keep the eyes upwards so when you come to stringing it, the string can come through the eyes so you don't have to drill a separate hole in the bottom. So I think I'm going to choose this side because it's more of the flatter side as you can see. This side's quite rounded. So I'm going to use this side and then you just need to get your drill, place it down. At the start it could be a bit wobbly because the coconut's obviously rounded and your surface is flat so the best uh, bet will be to put it in a vise if you have one. So start drilling. But once you've got through the, uh, the outer shell of the coconut, not with the big circular part, just with the drill piece, like just with this piece here at the end, you'll need to empty all the milk out, all the coconut water. So I'll show you once I've got through. So I've just attached a new uh, charge battery to it, just to get through it. So as you can see, once I've cut through it, I'm going to tip all the milk out. I'm just going to tip it outside. So yeah, I'm just going to go do that. So once you've got all the milk out, what you need to do is just use the drill again with the big circular bit and just cut all the way through it until you've cut out the circle. So as you can see, I've got all the way through. Nice big entrance hole for the animal to go in. What I need to do next is the hardest part, which is getting all of the, what's called the meat, out of the inside. Now, you can keep the meat and eat it. Obviously, it's just normal coconut, but I've had this one for quite a while, so I'm not going to bother eating it just in case. So yeah, let me show you how to do that. So to get the middle part out, what I did last time is get the sharpest knife you have. This is one of our expensive knives, so I probably shouldn't really be doing this. But what I did was, you have to be very careful with this part because it, it's quite hard, the meat is. What I did, I put it in upside down so the point of the blade touches the like, outer shell and cut down like this, like so. So you're inside the meat and cut, just keep cutting it and cutting it, cutting it, and some of the meat should start to come out. I'll show you a little bit and then I'll just time lapse the rest of it because it's quite a lengthy process. So I'll we'll put the knife in, slide it down like so. So it's like this, if you can see that. And then I'm going to do the same again, just next to it. And then the pieces should come out. So same again here. And then, so I've got two lines, like here and here, side by side. And then put the knife in sideways, like so. And then it should pop out, I hope. You have to kind of wiggle it back and forth to get it out. Like that. And as you can see, that's the very first tiny little piece that's come out of there. And you have to do that throughout the whole thing. Make sure you try and get all of it out. Now I'm just going to time lapse the rest of it. Because like I said, it's a lengthy process. So I'm just going to be testing a couple of other methods that I've uh, thought of. So first one was one of my other methods, just get a chisel, if you've got a chisel, and just like, ha like hit it away, if you can. 
I've done a couple of bits with it off camera and it's not working too bad so far but yeah I'll get back to you if I think find any other ways that work better so I found that it's definitely the easiest way to just use the knife like I said the first time and just to go like that every other way just seems to be chopping it up well I've neatened it out a bit but as you can see here it's just chopping up the uh, meat and not actually getting it off the, the outer shell so I'm just going to carry on doing it all the way through this and then I'll get back to you when I've done that so as you can see all this is what's came out of the inside of this you wouldn't think that so much could just come out of the tiny coconut but anyway I've done this part obviously there's a few pieces that you're gonna miss you can't really help that so the next step I'm going to be showing you is how to string it so I'll show you that now so for the next part I'm just gonna show you how to fit the string what I'm using is it's just this uh, string here it's similar to like a rope so depending on how high you want it to hang like in your tank so say if this was just the tank you were using if you wanted it like here or here or here or whatever you'd obviously hang put less string in also if you're using it for a leopard gecko or so you could cut it in half so straight through here you cut it in half and uh, then you'll have two halves of a coconut which you can use as obviously two hides so you can use that as a, a hot and cold hide per se in a uh, leopard gecko's tank but what I'm going to be doing is putting the string through just here like so I'll show you now as you can already see the eyes knocked itself out usually there's one eye that is uh, softer than the other two and that one sometimes just comes out on its own like this one has if it doesn't you can just hit through it with something like a nail or drill through it but what I'm going to do is putting the string through like so through the top and then once you've pulled it out I'm going to do this like that and then what I'm going to do is just tie a few knots into this string to make it uh, big enough not to not to fall back through the coconut so just tie a few knots like so I'm probably going to do about four possibly five just in case try and get them all to be like exactly in the same spot if it's too uh, too small you can obviously just go back and do it tie more but as you see I pull it that's pretty solid it's not coming through even if you pull it really tight you need to make sure it can withstand how much it weighs which shouldn't be too hard because they don't weigh too much so yeah that's pretty solid and now what you need to do is just cut off the excess from the inside which I'll do now to grab yourself a knife or a pair of scissors be extremely careful Make sure to have parental permission and you have a parent watching over you just in case or if they help you. So yeah, I'm just going to cut free like so. So now it's just this knot on the end of the string and that pulls through like that. So what I'd like, I'd like this string to be a little bit thicker. So what you can do is you can just do it multiple times, put it back and forth and thread it through so it's like a few pieces stuck together but what I'm going to do is pull it out like this this is what I mean I'll show you so you can thread it like this you've got the knot here and you can just fold it like so so now obviously that's like three times the thickness because it's three lengths but I think I'm going to do it four times just uh, just in case like so so now that's probably half a foot long maybe a bit more I'm going to tie each end like here and here then I'm going to tie all this together on the end so you could do that instead of tying this knot on the end you could just uh, do loads of them together like this like fold it over and over and over and then just tie one knot so it'll be obviously like four times the thickness so I'll be like doing four knots in one. So yeah, now I've done that. What I'm going to do, I mean, if this knot fit doesn't fit through the hole now, I might just cut off this part here. Might just cut off this part here, just cause that'll be an extra dangly bit, but we'll test it. So what you need to do is straighten it all out and then thread it back through this hole. So as you can see, it fits nicely. That's our finished product. 
and it didn't take too long, it took me about half an hour to an hour I'd say, I'm not really keeping track of time, so yeah, there you have it, simple coconut hide, you can also drill multiple holes in each side, so you've got like three to four holes. So guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope this helped, and uh, stay tuned for another video, like, comment, and subscribe, tell me what I could do better, or what I could do in the future for my videos, and yeah, thanks for watching.